So I started thinking, I have all of these batteries I use for my tools just laying around. They stay fully charged most of the time. So I started testing the voltage on these batteries. They're 20 volt batteries, so I was trying to figure out a way to bring the voltage down to 12 volts. Or even bring the voltage up to 24 volts. So I got online and started looking up an inverter that may take 20 volts. And look what I found. Imagine that. They made a DeWalt inverter that will take the DeWalt batteries. So I purchased the inverter from Home Depot. It cost me around 200 bucks. When I started reading the directions, I saw that the inverter would push right around a thousand watts if it was hooked directly to a 12 volt battery. It'll only push 300 watts if it's running off one of its very own DeWalt batteries. But I thought about it, 300 watts is manageable when we don't have any power at all during a power outage. I'd rather have some type of electricity available to me than none at all. I know that 300 watts will charge a phone, run a TV, an internet modem, and even a fan. But how long will it run these things? Today we're going to find out. Okay guys, we got the internet and the TV plugged into the DeWalt inverter. Let's go ahead and plug in the six amp hour dewalt battery and let's see how long it'll run okay for y'all that are wondering this is a 75 inch tv it's going to pull about 140 watts with the internet plugged in we got to give it some time for the internet to boot up here so this is a pretty cool test i'm kind of excited to see how long one of these dewalt batteries will run a tv this size okay we're up and running now we're about four minutes in Okay, we're 10 minutes into it, pulling 144 watts, and the battery shows that it's about half staff. We'll see what's up in another 10 minutes. Okay, we're 20 minutes in, let's check the battery status. It's not looking too good, 148 watts is what it's pulling, and it looks like it's on the last bar here, as far as the battery's concerned. Okay, we're coming up on 30 minutes running off this DeWalt battery. Still showing right at 155 watts, we got one bar left on the battery. All right, our TV has shut off right at about 32 minutes. I would say it's not too bad for a single DeWalt battery running a big TV like this and the internet modem. Remember, if you got a power outage in the middle of the night, just lights and a fan might be nice to have. Now we're gonna see how long will it run these two 60 watt light bulbs and a fan. Okay, let's power the inverter up. We've got the two light bulbs up here on the top, ran together here. That lights it up pretty nice. Okay. At this point, the DeWalt doesn't even read it's pulling any wattage. It's probably pulling somewhere at least around 60 watts or so. All right, we're going to go ahead and plug the fan in. We'll go ahead and turn the fan on high. Finally reading around 41 watts. Okay, we'll start the clock at 514. Okay, we're right at an hour and 13 minutes. The fan and the lights are still going pretty strong here, but uh, it looks like the DeWalt battery is down to one bar. I mean, I can't complain. At least we've had lights for over an hour. Okay, I'm gonna check right back in whenever the inverter shuts off. So here we are, two minutes away from it being two hours. Coming right up on two hours. We're still showing one bar. That's two hours running the fan and two lights. We're gonna go ahead and just add this phone charger to it and charge my phone. I'll get back with you as soon as it shuts down. Okay, we are completely shut down at 728. Okay, everything is shut down at about two hours and 14 minutes. That wouldn't be too bad in a power outage to have two lights and a fan for about two hours. 